So Team Keep It Clean um, just found out that Thursday is probably going to be even more significant than I initially thought it would be. So I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing a lot of y'all. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Again, make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe and turn the notifications on so you do not miss anything if you are in Baltimore. I mean, even if you're not in Baltimore, but subscribe and turn the notifications on because I don't want anybody to miss in nothing. Nothing. You can follow on Twitter to everything in Graven Viz. But anyway, um, while I'm excited for that, I'm happy about that. Somebody from yesterday's events didn't really seem too happy. Uh, that being Dante Demas Jr. Uh, and of course, he is an undrafted rookie free agent wide receiver uh, from Maryland that the Ravens picked up, who a lot of people, they said that last year, uh, and had it not been for the injuries and stuff, um, he could have been a first-round pick. He said the talent is there, the ability is there, uh, just the injuries messed a lot of things up, and he never really got fully back healthy. Um, so a lot of people feel like he's somebody that could make this Ravens roster. He's somebody that actually has a legitimate shot to making the roster. Now, I, I still think that would be very, very, very tough because – Again, some of the top spots, like, they're pretty much set in stone. Unless something crazy would have happened, the top spots are pretty much set in stone. Because you got an Odell Beckham Jr., uh, you got a Rashad Bateman, uh, you got a Nelson Aguilar, you got a Zay Flowers, you got a Devin Duke. Like, that, that's five receivers off top right there. Right there. And so for him to make the sixth wide receiver spot, which is possible... But he would have to beat out James Prochet, Tylen Wallace, and um, I'm not, I can't recall who else is there right now. Oh, Laquan Treadwell. And, and this is why I think that he may not have been a big fan of the move because, of course, it was announced yesterday uh, that the Ravens, they were going to be signing Laquan Treadwell. And that became official today. They officially announced it from their social medias today about two hours ago. So I'm sure that pen has been put to paper, and if not, then it will be very, very, very soon because the Ravens, they, they can't announce stuff until it's like pretty much official official. Uh, that's why during free agency and stuff, especially during the tampering period, they don't announce any deals until the guy is actually signed. But anyway, a couple hours after it was announced that the Ravens were going to be signing Laquan Treadwell, Dante Demas took to Twitter, and he said, okay. Now, I know a lot of people like to say, oh, no, no you guys are just you're looking too much into it. Ah, uh, he's probably talking about something. Oh, man, it's not about that. Y'all think everything that these football players tweet and put on social media is about the NFL? No, man. But I, I bet you this one is as well. I, I remember people thinking the same thing about like Patrick Queen scrubbing his socials. Hollywood scrubbing his socials. Oh, no, you looking too much. What happened a little while after that? Oh, Hollywood was out of there. Uh, the Ravens draft Trenton Simpson. Patrick Queen tweets, sheesh. And, of course, it was related to that. Lamar Jackson, when he tweeted that SpongeBob gif, we made a video that night. To, oh, we, we knew something was going on. Something was brewing. And then the Ravens, they mess around the next day and they retweeted it. I said, oh, yeah, okay, hey, yeah. Then some people like, oh, please. He just, no, man, he just he just trolling. I said, no, no. Well, he is doing a bit of trolling, but we knew it had something to do with something with football, with the Ravens. Even Odell Beckham Jr. the night before, he said, book him. And then somebody, some people were talking about, oh, no, Odell Beckham Jr., he was talking about the Suns game. The game was 12 hours earlier. Like, he ain't talking about no basketball game, man. Hello. And then Lamar Jackson signed. And then Lamar Jackson was even asked about it in the presser. Like, what was the SpongeBob gift about? And it, I think it was Jameson Hensley that asked him. He was like, oh, yeah, it, it has something to do because I was really liking the numbers that I was seeing from Eric DeCosta. Like, oh, yeah, you get it. So with Dante Demas Jr., okay, bet. It may only be two words. But if no is a full sentence, so it's okay, bet. But I, that's why I appreciated J.K. Dobbins a lot um, the other day for his just straightforward tweets. Like, hey, Ravens fans, I love y'all, but I don't know if I'm going to be with the Ravens forever. I don't know if I'm going to be in Baltimore forever. I just don't know. And I'm paraphrasing, of course, but 
you can check out the video that we made on that to see exactly what he said. But JK was straight up with it. He ain't like leave nothing to the imagination. He told everybody exactly how he was feeling in that moment. I said, all right, JK, I appreciate it. I love that. But with Dante Demas, the reason why I feel like he is a bit upset about that, um, it could be a couple different things. It could be him being upset because it's like, man, like, hey, I'm over here doing my thing. I'm over here showing out. I'm over here like, hey, I I'm trying to make this happen. Uh, but wh why y why y'all bringing him in? For what? What's the reason? What's the point? Y'all got me. You have a receiver right here. Don't bring him in. You got me. That could be something that he could be thinking. Cause, because oh, when somebody says, okay, bet, it's not a happy thing. It's not, oh, okay, bet. No. It's like, all right, okay, bet. And when you say that, that means you're accepting what it is that's going on, but you're not necessarily okay with it, but you are going to deal with it. So what this could mean, I was wondering a couple of things. Like one, he's like, all right, okay, bet. Bring on a competition. And it could mean two things. It could either mean, all right, I'm going to show these Ravens why they're making a mistake signing him. They don't need to sign Laquan Treadwell. And it, of course, ain't no offense to Laquan Treadwell, but it's like, hey, they don't need him. They got me. Why are they bringing in this guy? Hey, he, he done been in the league for a while and uh, things have been a little bit rocky or whatnot. But I'm a new guy. I'm a new up and comer. Let me get my shot. But then another thing that I was thinking, too, that it could mean. I wonder if it would impact his status as a Baltimore Raven. Now, we'll, with them announcing this move, um, we should find out later today around 4 p.m. I'm not, I don't know how many people the Ravens have on their roster right now. I don't know if they're at 90, and I don't know if Laquan Treadwell will put them at 91, um, or if they haven't even reached 90 men yet. I, I, I don't know. But I wonder if this would affect his status on the team in more ways than one. Obviously, it could impact his status because they're bringing in somebody who's been in the league for a little while, got experience and whatnot, knows a lot of the ins and outs of, around the league. And that can obviously have an impact because it's like a veteran guy versus an undrafted rookie free agent at the wide receiver position, especially how the Ravens have not even been just addressing wide receiver this offseason, but attacking it. They have really been attacking it a lot. So and, and we love it. We we love it. You ain't hear no complaints out of us about how they've been addressing wide receiver. I love it all. So great job, Eric DaCosta. And we've been saying, hey, if you want to add more, go ahead, do your thing. And Eric DaCosta ain't like he's been listening. He's like, all right, I'm gonna do my thing. I got it. But um, they really been attacking it. So this obviously could impact the depth. But what we always talk about, if you have more quality depth, then your worst wide receiver is that much better. But then another thing that I was thinking about, could it mean, and again, we'll find that out later today if this is the case, but could it mean that he's going to be released? That's one thing that I was thinking about. And I was like, mm, that is also a possibility. It's a real possibility. Um, because especially as an undrafted rookie free, it's tough, man. It is tough. I hope it doesn't mean that. Because I, I, I want to see the best of the best. I want to see these boys compete. And I would love, y'all know me, y'all, especially when it comes to wide receiver. I would love if guys that we have on a bench that's not even getting much playing time could be guys that could go out there and ball. That could be guys that could go out there and start if need be. I would love if those were Ravens bench guys. So that would be amazing. I know you can't have all starters everywhere. Like as far as being on the bench and stuff, but that's what I would love. So again, it's about that depth, about the quality, uh, the, the the quality of the depth. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what it means very soon, if it even means anything as far as his status on the team. But I, I definitely think um, with that OK bet, he's definitely accepting the competition. I mean, he got no choice but to accept the competition because I mean, wide receiver is it's crowded there, which is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful because it's not usually like that. But um, we'll see uh, how it impacts his status, whether we see today or in the coming weeks or the coming months or whatnot. Because like I told you all yesterday, with them signing Laquan Treadwell, to me, it, it seemed like somebody was going to be on the way out. Whether via trade, whether via release, cut, wave, whatever, it just seemed like 
because the, the the timing of everything. But again, like I said, if I'm wrong, hey, okay, I'll be wrong. I, I've been wrong a lot of times before, and I'm going to be wrong a lot of times in the future as well. But we ain't got no shame in admitting when we're wrong, though, because we ain't perfect. We ain't perfect. But anyway, um, I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. Dante Demas Jr. I hope he does his thing, man. I really do. A little bias in there since he's from Maryland, too. I mean, if he would have been from Florida, too, or Florida or Maryland, and he's on the right, ooh, you know, that bias kick in like crazy for me, especially, you know, if they from Florida, too. Like, hey. But anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. Again, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss anything. Please subscribe. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. And like, I hope Dante Demas isn't when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven. We out.